They're from the creative writing department, and they're two students who we've asked to share their writings based on our theme, Plug Unplugged. Brianna Rice, currently in ninth grade, creative writing class, and she'll read excerpts from her work. And Monique Seeger, currently in 10th grade creative writing student, SCPA, she'll read one of her short works as well. Welcome. I would like to share an original poem to you this afternoon. The poem is entitled, Brought as One by Force. My mocha skin stains my body. I'm in love with how my hips are formed. People just like the full figure type. I'm forced to have the dark brown eyes and the full lips. I'm used to the hair that lays on my head. It's deep, dark, curly brown seems different, more different than the typical blonde. She stands before me. Her caramel skin is deep. Her long wavy hair, her full lips, her light brown eyes are what makes her up. She is forced to be judged for having a white and black parent. She is forced to take one side as the side she likes the best. People say, you can't be both colors, you must be one. She is portrayed as a black girl, but in our truth, she is both races. Why does she have to be one? In our truth, she is no race, no more. She hates picking one. She chooses one race, and that is human. Her dark brown color stands out in the daytime. She's forced to hide her African culture, her micros, her braids, her kinky twists, her hair is all people see. No one sees her mocha lips. Nobody sees her dark, cold eyes. She's forced to hide her true self, her true identity. Life takes on these three strong black women. Life takes on who it wants them to be. Dreams are slowly vanished from them. There is no more life to the beat of their drum. Joy, happiness, and time does not bring them together. Hurt, pain, sexuality, the past, and force. They are brought together as one. They bring strength to each other. These powerful black women are now brought as one. Hello, my name is Brianna Rice. I'm a ninth grader here at SCPA, and I will be sharing three poems today. My first poem is entitled Roots. Roots, so spread out and layered in this one small place. Roots growing wider and larger and more connected. Roots which blossom up into the tree that spreads out and shields. Roots. Roots wrapped around a seedling formed into something so much greater. Roots sucking up water and nourishment that fills the bark and goes to the last things, the leaves. Roots, my family spread out all around Cincinnati, Ohio, Kentucky. Roots getting bigger and bigger, growing with each place visited, each friend made, each person born. Roots affecting who I am, how I change when someone asks, where do you live? All I can say is Cincinnati. Roots watching me blossom, my own leaves showing, but my own roots keep telling me to cover up, to hide it all, to hide my leaves. Roots, the reason I have come to be, the sole desire to leave, to escape, to hopefully grow separate from my roots. Roots need to be slashed off, obliterated, all connection to them torn away. Roots, the reason for my existence, my true creator. Roots that watch me blossom, bark and skin into something that they never wanted. Who am I? Roots that created me, we're both growing, and like a tree, my skin is scarred and gray. Pieces of me chopped, children have walked by and stomped on me, put away my leaves and flowers, taken away the grass from around me, leaving me a stem, the core. All that's left is my roots. Roots, my creator, my destroyer. Thank you. Um, my second piece is entitled, Iniquity. Trapped inside the cavern of my consciousness, glittering up my memories, was it really that good? In mostly darkness, all I can remember is your eyes. Am I just some stupid girl? Because after years of denying, I started to believe that in your eyes I could finally see love. You left too soon. Inside a thought was blossoming, love, affection, obsession, devotion. How could you not realize that my walls were tumbling down? We were fusing together one entity of truth. I finally let myself accept your adoration. I felt something for you in return. Now you're gone. Had you decided that I was simply inadequate, no longer what you wanted, I could handle that. But how dare you leave and disappear? How dare you visit me twice in one year? All I have left are these broken memories, sifted through behind closed eyes so many times that I'm not even sure what's real anymore. I'm trying to remember how it happened. Sometime in the past five years that I knew you, really knew you, I must have done something really wrong. I can't even re remember what made us best friends. But every thought brings me back to you. Endless longing, all inside. How do I escape and make you remember me? Sorry. And my final piece is entitled 
creation. It was inspired by a quote from John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Um, the quote is, those that make peaceful revolution impossible make violent revolution inevitable. Those that deny us the freedom to be and make decisions, to decide for ourselves who we are and what we do. I can tell you who I am. Can you tell me who you are? Make something, create love or art. Make yourself known to yourself and myself and to their self, whoever they are, wherever they roam. Peaceful thoughts show themselves as you let go of something through your creation, your makings, your beliefs. Revolution inside our hearts and brains. Now you know the truth of how we feel. Let this music fill your ears, this graffiti scar your walls, these words mar your brains. Impossible to believe that you dare contain a child's creativity and mind. You arrest and tell them it's wrong to believe. Make something of this wounded generation. We try to tell you who we are, but you make it wrong. Violent thoughts now enter our mind. We are angry that we cannot be, that we cannot show you what we believe. Revolution started by the government that chose to contain us, to make it wrong, to take away so much of what we love. Inevitable circumstances come to play. The children stand up cradling their flames. Take a moment and stop. Wonder who is to blame. Thank you. Thank you.